Hi there and welcome to Create Mistakes. From time to time I get people asking me how they can get started creating their own sketchbook. So I decided to come up with a very simple design that beginners can try using materials they might be able to find around their house. So let's give it a try. Firstly, let's look at the tools and materials that you will need. I'm going to use a cereal box for the cover, 20 sheets of A4 paper, one sheet of A4 card, two rubber bands, a metal ruler, also a craft knife. You're going to need something to make holes with, like an awl or a thumbtack. It's handy to have some clips as well. I'm going to be using my bone folder, but you can still make this book without using this tool. Now I should have all the tools and materials listed in the description box below. Okay, let's start with something easy. Take your A4 card and trim 3cm off the long end. This will be your cover page. Now you're going to have to break down your cereal box. Use your cover page and pencil to mark out your cover onto the box. Now you can cut out the cover. If you've got loads of leftover cards like I have, I'd recommend saving it so you can make another book later. Okay, so let's make a start on the pages for the book. Take your cover page and A4 paper and fold them in half individually. I'm using my bone folder for this, but you can just use your hands to make the folds. As you're going, remember to stack the pages on top of each other as if the book was open. As you can see, the pages need to be trimmed down. With the book closed, use some clips to keep the pages in place. Use a pencil to mark where the cover page ends. Remove the clips and cover page from the stack. Now you can put the clips back on and trim the pages down. Let's turn our attention back to the cover. Using the folded cover page, place it on one side of the cover. Then use a pencil to mark where the spine will be. I'm going to line up my ruler with the spine and use my bone folder to score the spine. This will make it easier to fold the cover but you could just use your hands if you wanted to. If you're planning on making more of your own sketchbooks, then I would recommend you picking up this tool. You can only buy them on eBay for £3. Now let's take the cover, the cover page and the pages and stack them on top of each other as if the book was open. Use some clips to make sure everything is secure. Make a one centimeter mark at the top and bottom of the spine.
Now use a thumb tack or awl to make holes through the spine one centimeter from the top and bottom of the spine. This is where your first rubber band will sit. From both holes you just made, cut a slit to the outside. Grab your first rubber band and work it from the end of the open book to the spine. Once at the spine, the rubber band should just drop into place, but if not, you should be able to force it in pretty easily. As you can see, the book doesn't want to fully close. But this is where the second rubber band comes in. Using a ruler and pencil, find and mark one centimetre from the top and bottom corners of the back of the book. Make a hole at both points you just made. From both holes make a slit to the outside. Now grab your second rubber band and slot it into the slits you just made. You can now use this rubber band to keep the book closed. And now your sketchbook made from a cereal box and a couple of rubber bands is now finished. Also, if you don't like the idea of using a cereal box, then how about using a cover from an old watercolour pad? Or how about this one I made from Kodak packaging? Well, I hope you found this video useful. And if so, hopefully I'll see you in the next video.